Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. Today I've got a quick tip to share with you on how to create a bucker background using Photoshop. So let's jump straight into it. We're going to start off by selecting File, New, and then select a width of 700 pixels and a height of 700 pixels and then select the OK button. We're then going to select View, Zoom Out, then maximize the canvas. And then we're going to select the brush tool, select the drop down arrow, and then we're going to select a circle brush 19. And then we're going to change the master diameter size to 600 pixels. And we want a hardness of mm, say about 70%. We're then going to draw a circle in the middle of the canvas. Once the circle has been created, we then want to head over to Edit, Define Brush, and then we want to head over to Window, Brushes, and we're going to select Scattering. Other, other dynamics and shape dynamics. We're then going to head over to shape, back to, over to shape dynamics, and we're going to select a size jar of thirty percent and a minimum diameter of one percent. Then going to head over to scattering and choose seven hundred and fifty-four percent. Count one. And we want to count it to be 0% and the control to be off. Head over to other dynamics. And then we're going to select 100% for the opacity jitter. And flow jitter 0%. We're then going to set the two drop down arrows so it pushes back into the side. We're then going to create a new canvas. This time we want the canvas to be 800 by 600. Select your OK button. Now we're going to reduce the brush size slightly. We're going to change the brush so it's white. We're going to grab the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle over the canvas as a red. So you want the foreground color to be. A E zero 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 zero. Select your okay button. We're going to select a new layer. We're going to grab the brush tool. Make the brush slightly a little bit more smaller. And all we're going to do is just simply drag it along the canvas. And there you go. We created the bucker brush effects using Photoshop, it was that easy. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching.